Welcome to FlexingGlazeOnline.com. This is Lesson 3-3, Verbs and Vocabulary. During this module, you will learn two verbs and the main vocabulary for this lesson. So let's get to work. The guy below works hard, so he can play hard. Então aqui we have a sentence that is very much used in the English language, which is, you have to work hard so you can play hard. O que significa, você tem que trabalhar duro para que você possa se divertir bastante. So, work hard so you can play hard. So, the verbs will be to work and to play. These are the verbs that we're going to learn today. So here we have the conjugation of the verb to work in the present tense. So in the first person, in the singular, we have I work. And in the plural, we work. Now in the singular of the second person, we have you work. And in the plural, exactly the same thing, you work. Now, third person of the singular, we divide it in female and male. So we have she works and he works. And you see that there is an S at the end of the verb, which is the present tense in the third person. You always have the S after the verb. Então, na terceira pessoa do singular, nós sempre colocamos o S no final do verbo. So, she works and he works. Now, on the third person of the plural, and the female and the male is the same thing. They work and they work. No S. Não há o S no final do verbo. Now, the neutral form, that is to talk about objects and things like that, we have it works. Now, in the plural of the neutral form, we will have they work. So, in the singular of the neutral, you have the S at the end of the verb, it works. In the plural, no S, they work. Now, neutral, let's explain this a little bit better. So, if you have a sentence, like it is on the left of your screen, se você tem uma sentença, como está do lado esquerdo da sua tela, the screen works, a tela funciona, you will have the S at the end of the verb, but if you are going to change that into the neutral form, then you take the screen out of the sentence and it becomes it works. O que isso quer dizer? Quer dizer que as pessoas que estão conversando já sabem que o it é a tela. Então, você não precisa dizer isso. Você não precisa dizer screen. Você pode só dizer it. So, the screen works becomes it works. Another example. That screen works. Aquela tela funciona. If I change that into the neutral form, it would be that works. Aquela tela. The screen that we were talking about. Next, this screen works. Neutral form, this works. So, then we have it, all the conjugation of the verb to work. And it's very important that you know that this conjugation is always the same for regular verbs in the present tense. Então, essa conjugação é sempre a mesma para verbos regulares no presente afirmativo. So now, let's try to do the same thing with the verb play. Take the quiz 
conjugating play in the present. Faça o flex quiz conjugating play in the present e o link está abaixo desse vídeo. Let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with the verb play. But let's do that as we learn the vocabulary for this lesson. Before we do that, however, I want to briefly introduce a very important irregular verb in the English language, que é o verbo can. Yes, we can. This is a sentence that probably most of us have heard before, which is, si nos podemos. So here's the conjugation of the verb I can, that means eu posso, it means poder. So in the first person we have I can, eu posso. In the first person, in the plural form, we have we can, nós podemos. Now in the second person, we have you can. In the second person of the plural, it's always the same, you can, vocês podem. In the third person, we will have she or he can, ele ou ela pode. And you see that for this irregular verb, can does not have the S at the end of the verb. In the neutral form, it can, is to podge. And in the plural, whether it will be the third person or the neutral form, they can. So there we have it. I can, we can, you can, you can, she and he can, it can and they can. The irregular verb can, it's used widely in the English language. And during our course, we are going to use I can or you can in many of our instructions. And you will learn more about this verb in later lessons. Below the video, you will have a link for the video lesson that explains the verb can in detail. So now we can move to the vocabulary of this lesson. So let's start with the verb to play. So with the verb to play we have basically three options. I can play instruments, I can play sports, and I can play with things. So there you have it. You have three different meanings for the verb to play. You can play instruments, tocar instrumentos, you can play sports, jogar ou praticar esportes, and you can play with things. So, você pode brincar com coisas ou se divertir. All right? So first, let's look at play as play instruments. So we can play instruments. Here are a few options of instruments that we're going to learn during this lesson. So we have piano, so the pronunciation is piano, we have violin, and we have guitar. So go ahead and repeat the words, piano, violin, and guitar, guitar. All right, so if someone asks you, what do you play? Que você toca? What can you answer? Que você pode responder? You can answer, I play piano, or I play the piano. And you will use this format with all the other instruments. Então, você vai usar esse formato com todos os outros instrumentos. Do you play the piano and the violin? Então, você toca piano e também violino? you would answer, or you can answer, I play the piano, but I do not play the violin. I play the piano, but I do not play the violin. So these are the two adverbs 
that we are learning in this module. But, mas, and only, somente, só, ou apenas. So, what else can you play? You can play sports. What do you play here? O que você joga aqui? I play volleyball here. Eu jogo vôlei aqui. Or, you can play soccer, but not volleyball, right? Furthermore, you can play only chess and tennis and not play soccer or volleyball. And finally, with the last meaning of the verb to play, we can play with things and we can play with people. So the kid plays with her friend after school. Or, do not play with fire. Não brinque com fogo, que é uma expressão universal. So now we completed all the meanings for the verb to play. So now let's go ahead and move on to explaining the verb to work. So basically there are two meanings. I can work for someone, as in trabalhar, or things work. Coisas, objetos, funcionam. Or also ideas, ideias também funcionam. So first let's look at you can work for someone, you can work at. So first let's look at work as in you can work for someone, you can work at something, you can work for something, and you can work to something. So the first example is I work for my friend. Eu trabalho para o meu amigo. The second one has to do with the location where I work. I work at home. Eu trabalho em casa. The third, I work for my freedom. Eu trabalho para minha liberdade. So I work for my freedom. The fourth meaning is I work to make money. And the last meaning is you can work with something or with someone. So my friend does not work with me, but he works at a school. And lastly, then we're going to look at the fact that things work. Coisas funcionam. Ideias funcionam. So the computer works well. O computador funciona bem. So we have the computer, which is an object. So we looked at as if it was third person. The computer works well. You have the S at the end of the verb right there. So here we have the school system does not work well. O sistema escolar não funciona bem. Does the radio works? O rádio funciona? You can answer yes, it works well. Sim, ele funciona bem. Or you can answer yes, the radio works well. Which brings us to what we talked about before. You are replacing yes the radio so you're replacing the radio for it. Então você está substituindo the radio por it. So sim o rádio funciona bem vira sim ele funciona bem. So yes the radio works well becomes yes it works well. Obrigado por assistir essa videoaula de inglês. Se você está assistindo essa videoaula no YouTube, o link para o teste da lição se encontra na descrição desse vídeo. E para você que é estudante da FlexInglesOnline.com, o link do quiz está logo abaixo do vídeo, assim como você encontrará links para materiais relacionados ao assunto. Bons estudos and good luck! Our next lesson, Flex Inglês, Lesson 3-4.